Guess what? A whopping 85% of pregnant women aren't sure which fish are safe to eat. I was shocked too when I first learned this. As an expectant mom, you want to do everything right for your little one, and that includes making smart choices about what's on your plate. Fish can be a fantastic source of omega-3 S and protein, but not all seafood is created equal when you're expecting. Let's dive into the world of pregnancy nutrition and uncover the fish you'll want to swim away from in 2024. So, we will divide these fishes into four categories. One, high mercury fish. Two, raw or undercooked fish. Three, refrigerated, smoked seafood. Four, large predatory fish. Now let us discuss category number one, high mercury fish. Mercury can accumulate in the mother's bloodstream and potentially harm the developing fetus's nervous system and brain. Hence, if you are pregnant, avoid eating the following high mercury fish, that is, Shark. Sharks are at the top of the food chain, which means they accumulate more mercury over their lifetime. This high mercury content can potentially harm your baby's developing nervous system. It's best to completely avoid shark meat during pregnancy. Swordfish. Like sharks, swordfish are large predatory fish with high mercury levels. Even a single serving can exceed the recommended mercury intake for pregnant women. Steer clear of this one to protect your little one's brain development. King. Mackerel. Don't let the king title fool you. This fish is not fit for a queen who's expecting. King mackerel contains mercury levels that can be harmful to your baby's growth and development. It's best to choose safer alternatives. Tilefish. Tilefish from the Gulf of Mexico are particularly high in mercury. However, Atlantic tilefish have lower mercury levels. To be on the safe side, it's best to avoid all tilefish during pregnancy unless you're sure of its origin. Our next category is raw and undercooked fish. These may contain harmful bacteria or parasites that can cause foodborne illnesses which are particularly dangerous during pregnancy. Avoid eating. Sushi and sashimi. I know, I know, those sushi cravings can be intense. But raw fish can harbour parasites and bacteria like listeria, which can be harmful to you and your baby. Save the sushi dates for after your little one arrives, ceviche. The citrus juice in ceviche might make the fish look cooked, but it doesn't kill all potentially harmful bacteria. Pregnancy is not the time to risk it with this zesty dish. Poke bowls. As delicious as they are, poke bowls typically contain raw fish. The same risks apply here as with sushi and ceviche. Opt for a cooked fish bowl instead to satisfy your cravings safely. Next, moving on to category number three, smoked and refrigerated. Now, seafood. These products may harbour listeria bacteria, which can cause severe complications for both the mother and the unborn child. Lox and Nova style salmon. That Sunday morning bagel with lox might be calling your name, but resist. Cold smoked fish can contain listeria, which can cause serious complications during pregnancy. Hot smoked salmon is a safer choice. Kippered fish, kippered fish, which is smoked and dried, falls into the same category as other refrigerated smoked seafood. The smoking process doesn't eliminate all risks, so it's best to avoid it during pregnancy. Jerky style seafood. Fish jerky might seem like a convenient snack, but the drying process doesn't guarantee the elimination of all harmful bacteria. Play it safe and choose fully cooked fish options instead. Lastly, in this category, we have large predatory fish. These tend to accumulate higher levels of environmental contaminants like mercury due to their position at the top of the food chain and their longer lifespans. Albacore tuna. While not completely off limits, Albacore white tuna should be consumed in moderation. Limit yourself to six ounces per week to keep mercury levels in check. Grouper. Grouper is another large fish that tends to accumulate more mercury. If you're a fan, consider limiting your intake to once a month or less during pregnancy. Orange Ruffy. Orange Ruffy live a long time, which means more time to accumulate mercury. It's best to choose shorter-lived fish species during pregnancy to minimise mercury exposure. Now here are some bonus tips for the expecting mother craving fish that she can enjoy worry-free. Low mercury options like salmon, tilapia and cod are not only safe, but also packed with beneficial omega-3s. Aim for two, three servings per week of these pregnancy-friendly options. And 
If you are craving tuna, opt for canned light tuna, which has lower mercury levels than albacore. You can safely enjoy up to 12 ounces per week. Lastly, make sure to properly cook the fish, which will ensure harmful bacteria are killed, making it safe for the mother and her baby. By avoiding high mercury fish, saying no thanks to raw or undercooked seafood, and being cautious with smoked varieties, you're taking important steps to protect your little one. And the best part? There are still plenty of delicious, safe options to satisfy your seafood cravings and nourish your body with essential omega-3s. As you continue your pregnancy journey, keep this guide handy for those moments when you're unsure about a fish dish. And don't forget, your healthcare provider is always there to answer any specific questions you might have about your diet. Mm. That is all for today's video. I can't grow this channel. Without your support, your support means the world to us. So, if you found this video helpful and would like to see more content like this, kindly drop a yes in the comment box below. Your feedback will motivate us to keep exploring and delivering valuable insights. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Until next time, take care and make your health a priority. Thank you for watching.